hey everyone welcome back to another video and remember that you ought to like share and subscribe make my seat belt safe you know you should drive with your seat belt don't take it for granted that you may not be one of those drivers that drive very fast you may still have problems on the road so accident can come at any times even though we pray and we hope for the best when we come on the road but still we ought to do our do's and one of the do's is to get safe put on your seatbelt all right with that said and my little girl at the back there saying her abc today we are going to be talking about is there another way to get to God is there another way outside of Jesus Christ is there another way because you know there are many religions out there and um, there are persons that say there are several ways there are some that say there are a few ways there are some of us who hope that there are other ways or should there be another way but is there another way except Jesus Christ I am pleased to have you know that even though it may disappoint you because that may not be what you are looking for I'm looking forward to hear no there is no other way there is only one way here's what the scripture says in Saint John I am the way the truth and the life Christ Yeshua is Hebrew name he is not just the way he says I am the way if he says, I am the way, it means there is no other way except that way. He is, except him. There is no other way. I am the way. But he is not just presenting to you that he is the way. He says here as well, he is the truth. So you're looking for truth? There is no other truth outside of him. He is truth. He is the truth. And then he's not just the truth. He's also the life. Life. He is not just for you in this physical life. There is no other way for you to gain everlasting life but through Yeshua and Ashia, Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, the Christ. There is no other way. But he did not just say that and leave it at that. He says, no one comes to the Father but by me. No one can come to the Heavenly Father except through me he says so he gives complete clarity for those who are looking for another way he says no one can come to the father he is the only one that the father has presented as son that the Father has manifested himself through God manifested in Christ. God in Christ, through Christ, by Christ. And he says, as in the Heavenly Father, the Most High, yeah, he says, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him listen to him so the heavenly father said listen to the voice 
of the Christ, whom I have declared to be my son, for him I am using as a vehicle to show you the way, and not just to show you a way, he is the way. Listen to him, for I am your God, the creator. I am not like man to lie. I will not lie to you. This is my beloved son. I am pleased in him. He is the truth. He presented I am the truth. The Heavenly Father says, listen to him. Hear he him. Listen to his words. What does he say? He said, I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Nothing that I'm doing, I cannot do except through him. Everything that I'm doing, I only do it because he is in me doing these things through me. And when one of his disciples said to him, show us the Father, he says, have I been with you so long? And you still say to me, show me or show us the Father. Do, don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? If you do not believe, then believe for the work's sake. For none of these works that I'm saying, Christ had said to his disciples, I cannot do them lest it be through him, the Father. So there is no other way. There is no other truth. There is no other life. The only way to life eternal, it is through Christ. And it's a beautiful thing. And why is it a beautiful thing? Because none of us are being forced to serve God through Christ. None of us are being ostracized, if that's the word. Or even be annihilated in any way, shape, or form, or put to the dust because of our belief, because we may not want to serve him. This is what he has said Behold, behold, meaning look, I place before you life. And I place before you that which is not life, death. He says, choose. So he has given us choices. All of us has been given a clear choice to choose what we so desire to choose. So we are not forced. You know, in some countries, persons have no choice. They have to do this or they have to do that. And if they don't, they might be imprisoned. And, and they entrench them, entrench them into law. And when you look at what they're asking some of the people to do, it even go against the person's own will. It goes against what the person would in a regular setting would want to do but yet they had to do it anyways but it is beautiful that we have this father who has given us a way the way Christ Yeshua and we are not forced to go through that way we are still given the freedom to choose another way if we choose so but remember one of the way will lead to everlasting life. One of the way you will not have everlasting life. So the choice will be yours if you choose to go the way, the route, 
where you will not find life. So I say unto you today, I am encouraging you like my father through Christ has encouraged you. Behold, life is before you. Choose life. Behold, that which is not life is before you. But don't choose that. Choose life today. Thank you for watching. Remember to share, subscribe, like, and uh, comment. When you leave a comment, I will know that you were here. Thank you. God bless you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And put the countenance light upon you and give you peace. See you soon.